Hey guys, your boy Nick here, and welcome back to my channel. So, for today's video, I thought I'd treat you guys to uh, my commentary to my first ever wrestling match. Uh, so much cringe behind this, actually. Alright, so uh, without further ado, let's get this started. So, we see the video here starting with uh, the Saint walking down to the ring, making his entrance. Good stuff. Very nice guy. Uh, I think. He's in the States right now. Uh, he was a pastor this side. I don't know if he's still doing that there in the States. And there he was told to no sell. Very nice guy. So at the start of the match, uh, the whole plan was him. He conquers everything at the beginning, you know, beating us both up, established that he's, you know, a monster. And, um, you know, with us looking weak, it's my debut match. And there's me in the speedo with blonde hair. I used to have hair. Very cringy. <laughs> Very basic indie wrestler <laughs> back in that time when everybody bleached their hair. The only difference was I'm wearing a speedo and not shorts. And he just put me down there. Uh, just to pause right there. One thing I want to say. Good stuff. The Saint. He's a very nice guy. Very nice guy. But uh, even though that he was a veteran in the business on this side of the world, he was not exactly the safest guy to work with. He was reckless. And, you know, he would just put you down instead of guide you for, for these slams. And it would... Oh, it, 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 it was a, a tough time, man. But, you know, I can't really complain about it because that's what you have to go through fortunately and unfortunately let's carry on and boom now you'll see in this match it's actually very reckless like there's a lack of selling on my side it, it is my first match and uh, with, with that being said I didn't know much and I wasn't really taught much neither on the selling point of, of, of things or well, you know or just not enough not as much as I know now or what I knew like five years down the line you know uh, like right there holding onto the ropes and not really selling the sore spots but you'll see that now throughout this you'll see the other guy in the background you know we weren't really told how to do this properly it's just kind of doing moves and one guy stands there nobody said like you know communicate properly with you know the ones out the ring and you know he has to sell the big move there outside take his time and then you know come back into the ring when the time is right you know and you'll just see most of us are just standing there like a, a third wheel in the background and yeah clearly no direction and he was told to no sell and he just you know fell from you know a kick to the ribs unnecessarily there's a drop kick. There's going to be plenty of those in here. And you can see there's no pacing. It's just kind of, you know, rushed. Oh man, this was actually so bad. This is so bad. Ooh, those elbow drops. Mm, you laid your weight onto those. He laid his weight onto those. Once again, being told not to no, no sell and look like a, a, a monster, but you know, he already took a few bumps unnecessarily. Uh, geez. The lack of skill here really does bother me. Now the guy with the white face paint, the warlock, uh, he was, behind the scenes he was actually the promoter of this uh, promotion. Um, not a bad guy, uh, don't really speak with him anymore, uh, but that's a story for another day. It's more business issues, of course, nothing personal against him. But yeah, just uh, different opinions in how the business should move further because, you know, small team, small time guys, and you know, there's certain things that you need to do to make sure you thrive, especially on this side of the world where it's so cutthroat for no reason amongst all the promotions. Yeah, Oof, then I just get hammered away on, on this one and you know, Jeez, I look so bad in that speedo. <laughs> so, <laughs> about the speedo, um, we didn't know much better. Uh, it was mm, 
me and two or three other guys who were debuting uh, that night. And uh, the first match was uh, the French monster Terry Mado versus Al Toro. Al Toro, Chad. <laughs> oh my goodness, he also wore Speedo that night. But you see, I was smart. I put on underpants under mine and I had the lace so I could tie it and it would stay tight. Chad did none of those things. And he was, it was a squash match, so Chad was getting wrecked that night. It was bad. And Terry is uh, known for being a stiff worker and he would bully the, the new guys. And with that, um, the embarrassing part came in when Terry took um, Chad for a delayed vertical suplex. And with this speedo that Chad was wearing that was very loose, no underpants underneath, as Terry picked him up for the delayed <laughs> vertical suplex. And. <laughs> The, the speedo shifted quite a bit and like it was just this dick dangling in, in front of the audience for like quite some time while he was upside down and then bam he got slammed Ooh, i love telling that story every time in fact i've, I've mentioned the story so many times before um filming this because oh man uh, it was just so funny but anyway Let's continue. So yeah, there I'm going, and you can see there's Gustav's ass in front of the camera. Boom, take it to the corner, and high knee to the bulldog thing. Very CM Punk, big influence at the time. I was wrestling, and Gustav was just standing there. Now he's just stomping a guy that's no selling, and he no sells, and you know, there you go for a body slam. And like I said, oh, so many times, Gustav would just drop you. He would not guide you down, just drop you. So every landing was just this firm shock down the spine. Worse than, you know, taking a normal bump. It's just awful. And there you go. You see, low blow. This is a, supposed to be a hardcore match, and the ref is just there, you know, not really doing anything anyway. And see. See how bad this is, no selling. And you'll see now, I'm going to take DDT, boom, the other guy gets up immediately, like nothing happened, and then see one, two, nice slow count. Kicks out and then he kicks me. A bit late there. Just stays. It's like just being there. Not really doing anything, just being there. Like, not really, not say not doing anything, but it's like, he's not reacting to anything that he's doing. There's no intensity. You know, he's just big. There's no intensity. And there's me no selling once again, because, you know, not taught too much about that aspect. And, um, well, first time. The other guys don't really have excuses. Yeah. Now, you see... You can see there's a whole pacing issue here. So now the chain's being brought out, but like everything has been such a rush job just to do moves. See, that's supposed to be the most painful thing now because now we're introducing weapons into something, into a match that has no DQ. So you're not really emphasizing the impact of the weapons. There's me just pretending to be knocked out because I got punched in the face with the chain. And whoop, boom, down we go. This was funny. He throws the chair on my head, and if you hear closely, my, a friend of mine was there, and he was just sh shouting, hey man, that chair is plastic. <sighs> That's ridiculous. But yeah. This is the part here where my head was shoved underneath and this is where I bladed for the first time. You know, a good old bit of juicing. So while I have the video paused here, uh, so yeah, I, I bladed in this match, um, which got me some respect from the guys at the back because, I mean, they said they would never have, you know, done something like that on their first match. 
and uh, my mother was actually in that crowd that night and she refused to come see me wrestle ever again because she doesn't she from from there in the crowd she it was the first time she was seeing something like this and <laughs> Uh, she did not really know if I was actually getting beaten up or not and when she saw the blood That's when she said like no never again She would never want to see me in that sort of situation getting my my ass kicked again <laughs> uh, Shame love it to bits anyway, let's continue uh, So yeah, I would My head was being shoved underneath there and that's where I would get out the hidden blade and I would make a snip right there and um, took two uh, Disprins at the time and would hold your nose down and you blow, you know, just to get the blood pumping. And they were busy there, um, but Gustav was just standing around most of the time there and it was silly while all that was going out on the side of the ring. Props to uh, Warlock there. Um, he really did do most of the work in the match and he really did try to you know carry two individuals that could not work for you know for shit and jeez it was crazy yeah you could see the blood right there boom going to work trying to do something and take the chip boom Punches me again with the chain, pretend that I'm knocked out. So pointless, to be honest. Like the impact of the, the weapons was ne never really sold well. Because look there, he was getting, you know, choked by a chain. Where, where he's not holding his neck, holding his face for some reason. Why? Not really. That's, that's the problem with uh, wrestling then in South Africa. They, like Guys didn't know how to react, they didn't know how to sell, and it was really problematic. You see, he was just down on his feet for the first time. Like, well, not for, his, for, for the first time, but like you know, from a big clothesline. Why is he moving up so quickly? There's me, my hands are on the ropes, not selling a thing properly. You know, I should be holding my head and getting punched in the face, you know? I've got a big cut, a gash, and bleeding from my head. Like that should mean I'm hurt. I'm not selling the knee there. I'm not selling the shots to you know the back. I'm not selling anything from me. And this was the worst body slam I took that night because you could feel he just dropped me and my ass landed first on the mat there, and that just shook the rest of my spine. You could see there, like. I was stiffening up after that one as I get up and you see there, there I stand up immediately, go to the corner, just let them do their thing. I should have just laid, rolled out to the ropes and just like sold a bit more. I'm getting to work there, there's blood. I mean, I didn't even know how to do a good sh shot then, like I struggled with the punches then. A lot better now at least, that, that was terrible, I can't believe I actually used to wrestle like that. But, you know, once again, I don't think I was actually ready to wrestle for this match. And you see there, repeating the, the, the move again. You don't do that. It just takes away the impact of the first move. Like, there's no clear story being told here. There's me going for the, to the top rope. So we're working towards the end of the match here now. And let me just pause right there. So, um... As I'm climbing the ropes there, you could see that the ropes were fairly loose. And uh, those white boots I actually borrowed from a friend. It was his boxing boots. And I mean, sure, I almost thought I th was going to fall off once or twice. Anyway, let's move forward. So you can see there, climbing on, throws the guy out in the, in the ring. So the, the guy, he tips the ropes, you know. Should have held the nuts a bit more there to just sell the pain and you know it gives me a couple of punches so I need to pretend being knocked out. Like I said I felt like I was gonna fall off. So you know, uh, you gotta look after yourself first man. And there, just this was taking a bit long outside where I was battling the saint and you know 
not staying down, so he decided that he was going to uh, tie him up onto the outside. And you'll, you'll see that now. So this was taking long. I'm just kind of there drooping on the ropes, selling it as slowly as possible. I think that's the only thing I got right in this match. Like, this was actually so terrible and so poorly planned. And um, well, it was my first time, and we always go through these learning curves. He comes there, boom, and he gives me that uh, power slam, and then he pins me one, two, three, and there's the blood. Uh, guy wins. Uh, the warlock wins. There comes the saint rushing in, chasing him out because you know cheap victory, tying him down, like you know there pulling him out, being a coward. And that was the end of the match. Mm, nothing too shabby there. I just have to, you know, pretend I was hurt most of the time, but I think I just got up and I walked out, essentially. Yeah, look at me, look at that, look at this soul patch. Oh, terrible. So that was the entire match. Um, it was... <laughs> Oh, it's so cringy. I can't believe I actually bleached my hair. But also, I mean, on a technical standpoint, that is horrible. That is horrible. Guys just standing around, not like emphasizing the selling, not slowing it down, rushing their moves. It's This was probably the most horrible match I've had. But I mean, who's ever had a first good match, you know? Um, why is it in a triple threat you should just actually just have the guy in his debut match and have a guy who's a good worker you know carrying the match and carrying them through you know that way it, everything could have just been slowed down and you know done properly and not have two guys that are incompetent in the ring especially when one's a beginner but anyway that was my first match so uh yeah the whole point of this video was i wanted to give you guys some insight to my background i'm going to be posting up my jiu-jitsu fights boxing fights and you know other wrestling matches up here as well with my commentary um you know once again i just want you guys to be familiar with my background so you can understand the type of content that i'm trying to create and if you enjoyed this type of video please let me know in the comment section below uh please like and subscribe like all the other youtubers are asking for uh small clicks for you but big helps for me i want to you know play more fighting games and recreate the moves from there you know have fun you know i want to have fun making my content so yeah thank you guys once again uh it's a crazy world out there please look after yourselves and take care see you next time